I'm going to take a look at the 2D texture wizard. Now for basics, toolpaths, we can use our create a 2D texture toolpath. And here it allows us to select a tool. I'm going to select a 12mm ball nose tool. And to get ourselves going, we can just use default values from tool. Now it's putting the minimum length and the maximum length and the minimum cut depth and the maximum cut depth. So it's put a whole load of finishing options in there for us. It takes all the default values from whatever tool you've picked and sets it all up for you. So if I just calculate this now using the default setup, using my selected tool, Now that's finished calculating, we can simulate this to see what we get from using that toolpath. So I'm just going to close my texture toolpath down for now. I'm just going to simulate the toolpath nice and quickly. So I've chosen a wood grain effect for this. We can see in the bottom corner the 2D texture we're going to produce all the way across the whole design. Now this is just using default values. Now we're working on quite a large sheet of material. We have got the settings set to just the default to create the same pattern. So if we just zoom in. Now what we can actually do is change a lot of these values. So for now I'm going to stop this toolpath. I'm going to reopen my texture and I'm going to take a look at some of the values. Now first of all our length. This is the length of the cut so the value between here and here is ranging between 36 millimeters and 60 millimeters so fairly small. Now if I wanted longer cuts I'm going to put this between 100 and 300 millimeters so they're going to give very long strokes. Now my cutting depth, I'm going to leave the minimum at what it's at, but I'm going to vary the cut depth. So it's got a maximum of cutting to five millimeters in depth instead. Now my minimum step over, this is the step over across. So how high the actual cusp ridge will be. I'm going to change this to two millimeters and this one to five millimeters. And then this is the actual spacing in between where it dips in and pulls out and it's the spacing in between. Now I'm going to leave them set as they are. I'm going to recalculate. I'm also going to change my angle to 45 degrees on this one. And then I'm going to calculate this. Now that this toolpath's calculated, let's have a look at the difference between the two toolpaths which were created. So here we have what the old toolpath or the first toolpath we created look like. If I just restart my simulation and take a look to see the difference between this one. Just speed this up. So first of all, we're getting quite long strokes to a lot deeper. Now the actual width is down to the tool itself. But as you can see here, getting a much different texture than previously before. So by changing the values, some of the figures, you can see the results you can get. So you can get close dip in and dip out of the texture we can get some very, very long dip in and dip out. Now this is just some of the basic features within the 2D texture wizard which we can produce. There are further videos demonstrating how you can use the 2D texture wizard in more depth. But for now we're going to take a look at one more option. 
and we're going to use from the top we're going to use selected vectors now we have got some vectors within the 2d view vectors we happen to have if I turn them on within the 3d view it's these vectors here which I'm going to calculate so we can see what we're going to produce from using this now I'm going to change the figures slightly I'm going to make it a slightly deeper cut so I'm going to go down to 8 millimeters and my step over is going to be 3 to 6 so it will be much more spaced in between and I'm going to calculate this right now using my selected vector ok now that's calculated just take a look at the area it's produced and we can just simulate this now just speed the simulation up it's going to complete create a texture around everything apart from the Marilyn Monroe image now we have our raised image in which what we can also do is turn on our toolpaths and we can turn on our color shade, our depth color and it will leave it as a raised texture with our image of Marilyn Monroe with a texture panel as the background we could also just select the inner part of Marilyn Monroe and use her to just calculate the toolpath on the inside as well